Hey guys, so I want to uh, show you this new valve that I, I purchased. They were literally less than five bucks a piece. And uh, they're brass. Uh, I can't read it, but it's, you know, it's lead free. It meets all the requirements. Um, but I want to tell show you the name of the company is Homeworks. Uh, I bought them, like I said, they were less than five bucks. Uh, it's got a, a bib screw here, holds the handle on. I want to show you how easy it is to, uh, to replace this. Uh, see if I can get this off. See how easy it comes off. There. Yeah, pretty easy. I just also wanted to show people that I do have crescent wrenches. Yeah. That would be a 10 inch. So, what I like about these, very easy. Got a nice gasket in there. Got a nice seat. I like the way that seat cuts uh, up into the gasket for a nice uh, shut off, positive shut off without having to crank it down too much. Uh, some other hose bibs, you know, it's very hard to pull that bonnet off of, uh, you know, the bonnet nut to separate that from the valve body, man. So this is a very easy to maintain. You could easily take this handle off, pull this, uh, bonnet nut off and wrap some, uh, Teflon tape around this stem as long as it's nice and smooth uh and repack it like that uh you could use some graphite packing uh i don't have let me see if i can get a screwdriver let me take this screw out and we'll see what kind of what they have in here for packing okay and therein lies the problem you can't get the fucking screw out Johnny's fucking tutorials. You gotta love them. Johnny's bored today. Yeah, I don't have a fucking... I don't have a number two. I don't have a number two. Hang on, guys. Let me get my Leatherman, man. Let me get my Leatherman out, yo. So I just like it, man. It's old style. I like the spray pattern coming out of it. Uh, for my money. You know, I don't know how easy this is going to come out in 10 years. But if you put them on the way I put them on with a female adapter... Uh, nice spline. That's it, man. That's all she wrote. Wow. That's nice, man. Very easy, man. Very, very easy to maintain. Uh, and that gasket's really thick, so tightening up the packing nut. And I used it yesterday, and the valve that I put in uh, was one of these. And I can tell you that I didn't have to crank down on that thing at all to uh, to get the water to stop. And I, I think it's it's got a lot to do with uh, the design. I don't know if you can see the detail in this. Uh it's got a nice little recess in there for the, the way the seat cuts into this. Uh, you can see it stands up, up tall inside there. Uh, so I think they're, it's a quality valve and I prefer these over the quarter turn. Um, for sure. Just because it's so easy to take apart, man. Sometimes those fucking... Getting those... Uh, the bonnet nut off of a, a 
silk cock is is hard, man. So I see these guys on television that they take the, uh, I mean on YouTube, they, they take the handle off and they get it in the right position. Isn't that sweet? What I want to know is, what I want to know is, where, where was Obama when 9-11 happened? No. I want to know why Brasscraft puts their handles on every valve so that when it's in the off position, you can't use a fucking wrench on it. Why? Why do they do that? It's just fucking wrong. Get yourself some, guys. Five bucks. They came in a day. I got 20 of them uh, for a hundred fucking dollars. Hundred and eight dollars shipped here. Uh, I'll show you this tag again. Homeworks. I just looked it up on the internet. I just put in brass, old style brass uh, silk cocks, not silk cocks, hose bibs, and uh, came up. And I really like the, the, it's not shooting out on a 45 degree angle. You can fill a bucket up against the house. You can, you can control the volume with this, and the spray is just a nice spray pattern. So uh, get you some, man. Homeworks VHB STD sexually transmitted disease. Yep, VHB vagina head boogers dash sexually transmitted disease dash C3. See you at the hospital. <laughs> Too fucking funny. STD. That's just fucking hilarious. Alright, guys. Johnny Sunshine here. We're gonna do a, a test. We're gonna check the difference between DAP. Tub and tile adhesive, adhesive caulk, which I've been using for a long time. My issue is I can't get it out of the package anymore. We're going to compare it to this main line uh, tub and tile caulk, but it's siliconized. Uh, it's easier to get out of the uh, tube, and I actually made the shift to this. But now I have a real concern because I, I rely and I bank on the fact that this uh, DAP actually holds that toilet. I make the statement all the time that in a month you could take the bolts off of a, to off of a toilet and it would stick. It would stay uh, mounted and not wobble. Uh, I can't make that statement with this cork yet because I just don't know. So what I'm going to do is I've got a toilet lid from one of the toilets that I took out. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do DAP on one side and mainline caulk on the other. And then I'm also going to do the same test on the, uh, on the unfinished uh, side of the uh, china to see what sticks better to this too. Uh, so let me let me cut those tubes open. They're both unopened And uh, we're gonna do a little test man We're gonna do a little test y'all So So what I want to do is I'm gonna spread a little of this stuff here Okay, so that's going to be one week, one month, and six months. I'll let this shit hang around my house for that long. But I'll, I'll, re I'll reveal the results on that when I get them. So 
on this, this is the DAP. That's coming out pretty easy. Maybe I just got some bad tubes. So, I also want it, like I said, I want to do it on the, I should have done this first, but uh, I want to put some on the uh, unfinished side. get a marker and I'll mark these so I know which one's which all right so this is DAP and I'll just put ML and we'll see I'm gonna look at this in 24 hours because that's about how long it takes for this stuff to set up and I'm going to put some dap on the inside here. And I'm going to do the same with this mainline cork. The mainline cork looks different. The dap doesn't shine as much. Uh, I can see a difference, but I'm going to leave that just like that. And we're going to check it out, man. Mainline, siliconized caulk, and then the old faithful, DAP, which I'm leaning towards the DAP. Going back to the DAP, maybe buying uh, one of those guns they sell, which are really cool. It's just a little click handle, click, click, click. And it squeezes the, the uh, DAP out of this. It's a heavy-duty tool. It's not a piece of crap. Uh, and it'll probably make, you know, it won't be hard to, to use that uh, around the toilet. So uh, I'm just, you know, the main line, like I said, I, once I find a product that works, I stick with it. And uh, so we'll see, man. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison, guys. Johnny Sunshine bringing you unprecedented content all the time. Plus a political rant here and there. Oh, maybe every fucking day. Uh, yeah. So we're just going to put this aside. Uh... And that'll be the end of that. Jackson, we'll see. Hey, guys. Johnny Sunshine here. Uh, I got a little update on my main line caulk. Uh, my heads up matchup with uh, main line caulk and DAP. Bing. Bang. So the DAP, this is only four hours in, guys, if that. The DAP appears to be sealing up quicker. It's pretty hard already. This stuff is still pretty spongy. You can see it's it's still wet. Uh, I did some on this side <clears throat> and on the porcelain. And then I did it on the raw uh, china. And I gotta tell you, they both seem to be sticking pretty good. Uh, but time will tell. It does appear that the the DAP is setting up quicker, uh, and it seems to be harder. Uh, so we'll just let it go. See what happens. I did I did three uh, samples of each, and I'm gonna try to peel this off with a putty knife and see which one comes up easier. Uh, cause I really, I really want to make sure I'm using the right caulking, man. I want to make sure that it's not going to be an issue and it's actually going to hold these toilets in place, uh, for 20, 30 years. So, um, the test will continue. Uh, we'll see what happens, man. Johnny Sunshine here. It's Friday night, about five o'clock. And, uh, 
I just woke up, man. I had a huge turkey sandwich for lunch, and the tryptophan knocked the crap out of me. Uh, it's been raining all day. I was like, fuck it. I'm going to get a turkey sandwich, and I'm going to bed, Jackson. So everybody have a nice, safe Friday night and a great weekend. Uh, hopefully the weather will cooperate. Have a good one, guys. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it.